As part of Dundalk's celebrations for Positive Aging Week, a photographic exhibition on the old Barrack Street goods yard was held at the Great Northern Haven. I'm Will Glendinning, the coordinator of Diversity Challenges. My name is Lucia Carraher. I'm from the Netwell Centre in Dundalk Institute of Technology. We received funding from the European Peace Programme uh, for a project called The Way They Were, which was about recalling shared activities um, before the onset of the Troubles in the late 1960s. And the railway project in Dundalk is one of four projects that we're running. This one is looking at the shared experience of people who worked on a railway which served north and south and was implicated in the troubles in that the railway itself became a target on a number of occasions and it's collecting stories of railwaymen both pre the troubles and also through the time when they were dealing with the, how the conflict affected them. Um, I became involved in the project um, through Will's invitation to gather stories from, from local people about their experiences of working on the railway through some very challenging times and I have to say the stories that, that we did gather um, really are very very positive stories I suppose for, um, for Dundalk particularly at the moment um, we're going through some very difficult times economically and the stories that we have really are an inspiration I suppose because the times that the people um, lived through that we listened to their stories really were very very challenging. When the interviews came out then not only were we getting stories but people were producing photographs and the researcher Charles Freel is, is a railway enthusiast and was, is interested in railways and then it became clear with the development of this housing complex one of the things was that the railway people wanted uh, some form of recognition of what the place had been so the idea of the exhibition came out of grew out of that and I think it was important to, to signify in this new housing complex what the original history of it was and what the social history of this area is there's scarcely a family in Dundalk that, that wasn't linked in some way to the railway. And the site that we're, we're standing on today was the site for, for Dundalk's first passenger station, first railway works and first sawmill for the making and the creosoting of railway sleepers for the entire Great Northern Railway Network. So really, this was a very important site. And, and it was here, I suppose, that, that, that helped gain Dundalk's reputation as a centre for excellence um, in the latter part of the 19th century and early to mid 20th century. So some really, um, some really wonderful work that was carried out here in Dundalk. And, and but for projects like this, we really, um, in many respects, would be losing it because this is the voices of, of the ordinary people who helped keep the railway, railway going. The interest um, really has been amazing. We have people here from both sides of, of the border. We have people here from England as well. So yes, um, we knew that we were going to have a large crowd uh, and we knew that it, uh, that you know, the, the rooms here are quite small but at the same time we didn't want to move the location because, because this, is, this, is where the, this is the site of, of where the focus of the exhibition is all about. Um, so we had to stagger the presentations all day long, repeat them from 12 o'clock um, to 4 o'clock. So um, I, I, we are accommodating quite nicely and people can, can not only listen to the presentation but they can also, we have set up um, laptops in the second room here for people to, to come in and listen to extracts from the interviews at their leisure. And it isn't just, doesn't just stop here, the, the potential is here for uh, a partnership between this Dundalk Railway Project and the Railway Preservation Society of Ireland who have a base in Whitehead and who run uh, preserved uh, engines and trains on the current main line between, uh, through Dundalk and the hope is to try and use this as a model to attract the interest of other former railwaymen uh, at different stations um, and we've already started by get, making connections with, with former railwaymen in Portadown which of course was the next station up the line. Part of that partnership would be also we would be looking at, at connections into the County Museum but also into the um, railway project in Whitehead where they are establishing a, a museum uh, looking at uh, railway memorabilia and this type of work will certainly fit into that and that, that again is an example of cross-border cooperation. And also uh, the Netwell Centre is a research centre for ageing and later life so the whole focus of our, of our, of our work um, is older people 
and we're going to use the DVD we've created from the presentation as the basis for some really very nice reminiscence projects with, with the local people as well. Just to say thank you to yes. all of the people who gave their stories yes. and gave of their time so generously yes. um, and also to, to the people that helped to make today possible that, that, that came down and, and, and put up the photographs and, and to um, to Erin Road Iron who put on um, a bus to take people from, from the railway station to here as well. So we had wonderful support, um, absolutely wonderful support from the people of Dundalk. So thank you very much.